Hello, my name is Steve Harding. My earliest recollection of performance was probably as a five-year-old uh, at Butlin's Holiday Camp in a talent show. Uh, can't remember whether I won it or not, probably not, but I've still got the photographs to prove that I was there. Uh, school career was probably full of uh, little bits of plays, uh, orchestral work, uh, singing, music, uh, but my ambitions pretty much lay elsewhere in, uh, in science, engineering uh, and military service. Some 37 years later, I find myself in front of the camera again, uh, this time pursuing a third career, uh, revisiting acting uh, and maybe, maybe a second childhood. In my class, you will learn to think for yourselves again. You will learn to savour words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. <laughs> I see that look in Mr Pitt's eyes. Yeah, like 19th century literature has nothing to do with going to business school or medical school, right? Maybe. You may agree and think, yes, we must study our Mr. Pritchard and learn our rhyme and meter and go quietly about achieving other ambitions. Well, I have a secret for you. Huddle up, huddle up. We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And members of the human race are filled with passion. Medicine, law, business, engineering. These are all worthy pursuits necessary to sustain life, but poetry, beauty, romance, love. These are the things that we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, O me, O life, of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of the cities filled with the foolish. What good amid these? O oh me, O oh life. Answer? That you exist. And life exists. And identity that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. The powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? <laughs>